let's let's start with the with the emotion from you. Like, what do you feel here? Like, uh, like few days here, but how do you feel here in Lithuania? Feel good. Um, I'm excited. I'm happy to be here, and um, I'm going to try to learn as much as the culture as I can. Um, I know it's a basketball, a basketball city, basketball, you know, country a little bit. So I think that's that's pretty fun too. You've mentioned the basketball city, Kaunas. What have you heard about the Shalgiris itself, like earlier before coming here? Uh, what I did learn was the fans are very into the game, so. <laughs> That's one of the reasons why I'm really excited about making the decision to come here too. And I've heard the food is good, so I'm going to try the food as well. Um, I'm open to anything. I think, you know, when you come to a different country, you have to be open and you have to take in what that country can give you. And what are you like mainly interested in the countries that you visit? You know, maybe you have some like plans here in Lithuania. You've mentioned some food places, so maybe you have some plans already. Yeah, like I said, food, trying out what, what you guys love to eat and uh, I think just meeting people, uh, getting to know what the culture is like. Um, obviously, I don't know too much about it right now, but hopefully by the time the season's over, I could even say a couple sentences. <laughs> yeah, Let's go through like uh, for, for, for your early, early years in the basketball and um, you moved to China when you were like 18 years old. So it's kind of early ages, you know. And what did that season in China give you, give you personally for uh, for an experience being that young and foreign player, you know? Yeah, it gave me a lot. Uh, I grew very fast. You know, I had to mature very fast and learn about the professional life, the professional business. And I think that's what's helped me so much in my career. And even making the decision to come here, I think uh, it's an easier transition because I've already seen it, I've already done it. and. It was it was different. It was challenging, but it worked out. Emmanuel, uh, originally you're from Congo, right? So how often do you go back to, to Congo to visit your your, your family and, and? Yeah, I try to go back to Congo every summer. Um, I couldn't last time because of COVID, but every summer I get a chance to. I try to go back and um, try to get connected back to my roots. How popular is basketball in your country in Congo? It's popular. Uh, people know about it, but. Uh, we, it's not like it is here in Lithuania where like, you know, y'all got your own team and you're trying to uh, develop people at a young age. So uh, over there, majority of the people that, that start really getting good, they start getting good later. So that's kind of one of the things that I want to always do when I go back is try to implement um, camps and do stuff like y'all like do here. Emmanuel, let's be honest, are you a star in the Congo? Like celebrity? <laughs> yeah. I ask, ask the Congolese. Okay. <laughs> yeah, ask them. Uh, okay, let, let's go. Let's go further. Could you please remember your first game in the NBA? And was was that really a feeling of actually dream come true? Yeah, it was definitely a dream come true. Um, but I feel like basketball is is something that people overlook. I think when 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 you've been playing basketball your whole life, that's kind of how you just have to approach it. I don't. Now, you know, being older, um, I just approach it as a fun game. You want to have fun with it. I think people try to take the fun out of it, but it's fun at the end of the day. Okay. And in 2016, you were training with the U.S. national team, right? And you were helping them to prepare to Rio de Janeiro Olympics, right? So what's that about? Uh, what, did, did that change your mind, like, like, for, like a, personally to you, to become more and more a bigger player? Uh, yeah, I mean, I just try to go over there and try to better myself, better my game. And those guys, they pushed me and it was good for me and my game. Yeah. And in the New York Knicks, later on, you, you were the leading top scorer. That's a fact. And it, it, it was the average points of 14.8 and it's a leading, uh, leading um, scores. So maybe that shows us and you as, as well that you can actually be a leader of a team. Mm -hmm. I would like to think so. <laughs> uh, I think I just like to win and helping the team, whether that's scoring, whether that's doing anything. Uh, I just want to win. And what main aspects of like of yourself, like a basketball player, you would like to improve more and more every year right now? Everything. There's not just one thing. I think you can get better at everything. So I'm not content. I'm not happy with just how it is. So every every time I get a chance to get better, it's going to be that. 
And finally, to, to, to finish, to sum up, what would be your message to Real Gilles fans? I'm ready, I'm ready to have fun. <laughs> so I just want them to be loud. Yeah, that's no problem right <laughs> Thank you. Thanks.